is speaking, let's listen in. Right. Police authority, the toll authority, and our federal, state, and local partners immediately responded to the scene. At this time, this is an active search and rescue mission. We know there were we know there were individuals on the bridge at the time of the collapse working on the bridge, contractors for us. Our partners from the US Coast Guard will provide some more information momentarily. In terms of traffic, drivers should avoid I-695 Southeast Corridor and use I-95 and I-895 as alternatives. I-695 is being detoured southbound at exit 43, the Peninsula Expressway, and northbound at exit 2, Route 10. Vessel traffic into and out of the port of Baltimore is suspended until further notice, but the port is still open for truck trans trans transactions. Obviously, we're very thankful for the first responders who are carrying out their efforts in these rescues and that, that, they're, that they're doing this all through the night and today. And we're praying, obviously, for everyone's safe return. We'll continue to provide updates to you, the next one being approximately 9.30. With that, with that, I will turn it over to Lieutenant Colonel Palmer from the U.S. Coast Guard. Good morning. My name is Lieutenant Commander Aaron Palmer. Coast Guard Sector Maryland National Capital Region. I'm the current acting chief of response for the sector. The Coast Guard's primary mission right now is search and rescue, looking for any survivors in the water. On scene, we currently have three small boats. We also have Coast Guard Cutter Mako, an 87-foot patrol boat. We have a helicopter from Air Station Atlantic City, and we're working with numerous federal, state, and local partners on scene on these search and rescue efforts. Thank you. You going to take any questions after this time? What role did the FBI play in the investigation? The FBI has basically uh, to see if there's any terrorism connection, which there is not. 